Britain is seeing a return to rationing. Supermarkets say unseasonal weather in southern Europe and North Africa has disrupted harvests, causing a shortage in key salad staples such as tomatoes, cucumbers and peppers. However, some say the problem goes far deeper. Simon Lane is the managing director of Fruco PLC in East Sussex. They've been importing fresh produce for 40 years. He says supplies are plentiful and supermarkets are simply being priced out of the market. There's an old saying in our business, money is the greatest fertiliser in the world. Money talks. I can assure you that none of our customers are short of any product. You will find whatever you want at any wholesale market. You just might not find it at the same level of price. It's a fact. You cannot put a £250,000 tractor into a field to put carrots into the ground to get a £250,000 lifter to get them out of the ground to deliver it to a supermarket to be sold at 19 pence a kilo. It's, t it's totally it's outrageous. In Brighton, Andy Griffiths' family business has been distributing fruit and vegetables for 50 years. He believes they're still thriving because they pay their suppliers decent rates. The supermarkets do rationing to support their own systems. They don't want their shelves to run dry of products, so they tell people to buy less. When really, behind the scenes, there is a lot of produce that's to be had. It's just that you've got to pay the right price for it. I mean, if you walk into a supermarket any day of the year, in the produce aisle, you will see things on the shelf that are being sold at less than what it costs to produce them. This isn't sustainable. It's not going to work. However, there are other problems impacting supply. Gary Griffiths, no relation, is the owner of Nutborn Nursery in West Sussex. He says some British farmers are choosing to plant their greenhouse crops later, or not at all, due to high energy costs and a lack of government support. I'm hearing a range of two months later with some growers, some three months. Um, and it really depends on what the supermarkets are prepared to pay for their product. If the supermarkets are not prepared to pay them a realistic, sustainable return, then they know they can make no money and they won't do it at all. The government says supply problems could last until the end of March. However, some experts warn that if supermarkets continue to drive down prices, we could see empty shelves and more farmers going out of business. Ray Addison, GB News.